Hi, once again, I'm Gene Getz, and I do trust you've read my introduction to The Measure of a Man. And if you haven't, I'd suggest that you do so before you continue watching this video. In this introduction, I shared a story about Dee Dee Lewis. He was an outstanding linebacker with the Dallas Cowboys and played in five Super Bowls under legendary coach Tom Landry. In one conversation I had with Tom, who is now with Jesus, we both shared our concerns regarding Dee Dee. He and his family had been attending Fellowship Bible Church, where I served as founding pastor, and once he retired from the Cowboys, he virtually disappeared off the scene. Well, sadly, Dee Dee had succumbed to the power of several addictions and was wandering in the wilderness of sin and despair. Several months after that conversation with Coach Landry, I received a desperate telephone call from Dee Dee, which led to our weekly breakfast meetings. In fact, I still drive by that hotel on the way to the office, which brings back many rewarding memories. You see, I use the measure of a man as a counseling and mentoring tool as Dee Dee and I studied the qualities of maturity outlined by Paul in his letters to Timothy and Titus. Before we begin our study together, I asked Dee Dee to make a commitment to be open with me. No secrets. And he made that commitment. Our relationship together was based on openness and honesty. At the end of our study together, Dee Dee Lewis wrote these words I've once again shared in the introduction to this new edition, which I believe are just as relevant today as the day he wrote them. And this is what Dee Dee said. Our time together fostered in me a real thirst for God's Word. It has sustained me through some rough periods and trials. I have found out that most men have the same problems over the years and that healing begins when we share ourselves with other godly men. It's been quite a few years now since Dede wrote these words, and we both have grown older, but as I was preparing this new edition, I asked Dede to comment on why his statement is so important, namely, that we share ourselves with other godly men. Well, Gene, you're right. We are getting older and, uh, and wiser, I hope. Uh, but uh, when we got through meeting uh, once a week, uh, you got me into a men's group, and we met once a week uh, studying different books about men, about raising kids, about God, uh, and it was an excellent group for me to understand that I'm not alone. I'm just like every other man. And, and also it uh, introduced me to a great God full of grace and mercy, which I needed to hear because I was the most guilty person in the world, I thought. But when you spread it around with other men, you find out that, hey, we're all alike in that. And that was a great pleasure for me to find out and know that God loves me. Well, I trust you'll take Dee Dee's word seriously and work through the measure of a man with another man. Together, the two of you can become accountability partners. Or you can join a discussion group and learn together how to become more like Christ in all aspects of your lives. Or here's a third option. Become a mentor. Ask another man to join you who is looking for someone to build into his life. But if you do, don't just be a teacher. Be a learner as well. In essence, that's what happened in my relationship with Dee Dee Lewis. Yes, I was his pastor and mentor, but I was and still am his brother in Christ. But regardless of the option you choose, here are some practical suggestions. Assuming you are already meeting with another man or in a group. First, review the material in this introduction. After this review, have each man write out a personal goal. And then together, share these goals. And finally, Pray for one another, asking God to help you achieve these goals in your lives, beginning today. May God bless you in this study, and be sure to join me at the beginning of the next chapter entitled, Becoming a Faithful Man. But now, let me pray for you, all of you, as you begin your discussion together. Father, I pray for every man involved in this study. May each one open his heart to you and to other men who are on the same journey. May they all 
personally and together. Take steps in measuring up to the fullness of Christ. For it is in your name I pray. Amen.